guys. So today's video is going to be my 2017 skincare and hair care favorites. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see this type of video and a bunch of you guys said yes. It was just way too many products to include in my beauty yearly favorites, like my makeup favorites. So I thought maybe we can do a second video and just focus on skincare and hair care because I had so many standout products of the year and there is so much to talk about. My entire floor is full of stuff, which is why I'm sitting on my floor again, by the way. I have so many things to share with you guys today, so many favorites, and a lot of these are going to be surprises to you because I mainly talk about makeup on my channel, not so much skin and hair. Well, not as much. So again, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to try to breeze through all these products. So let's do this. So when it comes to removing my makeup, I have a few favorite things that I love using. I'm going to start off with my favorite wipes. And I'm gonna breeze through this because it's going to be no surprise to you. I have three standout wipes of the year. The Cohesion Dough Cleansing Spa Water Wipes are my favorite wipes from Sephora. They are very pricey. This is my favorite like high-end makeup wipe. These wipes are extremely wet, but not sticky and not greasy. They're just very saturated with like the, the water, the spa water. And it does such an amazing job of removing all of my makeup. It gets everything off without stinging my eyes. It honestly feels like I'm just rubbing water all over my face and it's taking off all my makeup. It's seriously the best. And my favorite from the drugstore, I don't currently have it because I ran out of them and I haven't repurchased it, but the Simple Micellar Cleansing Wipes, they are my favorite wipes from the drugstore. They feel very similar to the Cohesion Dough ones. They feel like water on the skin. They're perfect for sensitive skin and I really, really love them. I cannot recommend those enough. Out of all the wipes at the drugstore, those are hands down my favorite. And I also have to give an honorable mention to these. I've gone through so many packs of this. These are the Murad Clarifying Wipes for blemish prone skin. I use these every once in a while. I, mean, I use them all the time actually. Mainly when I feel my skin is very clogged, my pores are clogged, I'm having like bumpy skin and I'm having issues, I'll use these clarifying wipes and they help so much. I feel like with these, you either love them or you really, really hate them. My sister, for example, hates these. She says they burn her skin. I never had that reaction and I have pretty sensitive skin and my skin is very dry. I will say though, once you're done using this, your skin does feel a little tight, but I kind of like that because it doesn't feel drying tight. It just feels like tight and tingly and I feel like it really helps with breakouts and stuff like that. I personally freaking love these. And then when it comes to removing my makeup without wipes, I'll either use one of these products. If I have full glam, I'm taking off all my makeup with this. I don't even bother with wipes. If I have falsies, liquid liner, if I have the whole shabil, shabil, that's not a word. I'll use this. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is basically like a cleanse off oil. I use this at my sink right before I wash my face. I will squirt some of this onto my fingers and really massage it into the skin and it just melts away all of my makeup with a breeze. Like it just, it melts the makeup right off. No matter what makeup you have on, waterproof makeup, like the full shabil, <laughs> it takes it off. But when I have just like regular makeup, kind of like what I have on today, I will always use my Bioderma. I've gone through like 20 bottles of this. It's my favorite micellar water and I've tried all of them. I've tried all the ones from the drugstore. I just don't like any of them as much as I like the Bioderma. I don't know what it is. It doesn't sting my eyes. I could put it all up in my eye and it doesn't hurt. I just love how gentle this is on the skin and it takes off my makeup so easily. It's amazing and I use a cotton round, put it all over my face and my makeup is gone. I love it. My favorite face wash has definitely become the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is for sensitive skin. I purchased this at Target. I will say really quickly, when it comes to skincare, I really do like to invest in my skincare. Some of these are very pricey, but they're things I really stand behind. But for example, this is a very affordable face wash and I got it at Target, like I said, and I have completely stopped using all my other fancy, expensive face washes because this just gets the job done. It doesn't remove makeup very well, but I don't use it as a makeup remover. I just use it to wash my face and it cleans my skin really nicely. It's like dog hair in my mouth. It's like floating everywhere. Celine. It's very hydrating, very nourishing. I love this so much. You guys know I had like a really bad skin issue. I was drinking like a lot of kombucha at one point and it was like destroying my skin. I didn't know what it was. I was having major skin issues. I had bumps all over my forehead. Just, it was bad. And this facial cleanser really helped with reducing the redness. It really helped how sensitive my skin was at the time and I still keep using it. It's amazing and so affordable. I really love it. So I really want to mention this because if there is one product in 2017 that I discovered that completely transformed my skin when I was having those issues and continues to help my skin till today is aloe vera. Very affordable. You can get aloe vera at your local grocery stores. This 
is a freaking miracle plant. I spoke about it in my how I healed my skin video, but this is amazing. I have a really big aloe vera plant in my backyard and that's the aloe vera I use. This is the one I keep in my room. I love using that at night right before bed. I use it about two times a week. I won't put anything else on my face. I will wash my face, rub aloe vera all over my face. And I have to say, it's not the most pleasant scent, but it's so effective. It kind of like dries down and it feels almost like a mask. And when you wake up in the morning, I don't know, my skin just looks so much healthier, so much brighter. My breakouts are extremely minimized. It just does wonders for my skin. That is my major winner of 2017. The moisturizer I use every night before bed is my Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This one is really great. It's great for my sensitive skin. I like that it's not a tub where I have to put my fingers in. You just like squish the top and the product comes out. I like how hydrating it is on the skin. It's perfect for those of you who want really great hydration but don't want anything greasy. I feel like this sinks right into my skin. I love how it feels and it doesn't get slippy or weird because sometimes when I put on night cream and I'll lay down on my pillow, it like gets on my pillow. It's a mess. I really like this cream. It's not a mess and it just is very effective. I feel like it really nourishes and hydrates my skin and I use it every night. But when I have something that has broken me out, for example, if I try out a new foundation that really irritates my skin and I get like those bumps and th that redness all over my face. This is the moisturizer I will use. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I don't like that it's a tub. Um, I think I'm gonna start buying the small one because I'm pretty sure the small one comes in a little squeezy tube and I'll just continue to repurchase that. It is so great at really helping the skin come back to normal. It's very calming, it helps with my redness. I just really like how soothing this feels on the skin. I don't use it all the time, I only use it when my skin is very irritated and red and I just, I love it for that. Oh, I forgot to mention this, mine is so dirty. The Foreo, this is such a staple for me. It is very pricey, but in my opinion, I think it's really, really worth the money. I don't like the Clarisonic. I've tried, I tried for months. It just does not work for my ultra sensitive skin. Even the sensitive head just is not. I don't like it. This is amazing. I lost my charger so I can't turn it on to show you, but it vibrates and it's perfect for those of you who have sensitive skin but you still want to deep clean your face and you feel like your fingers are not enough. This is an amazing tool. I have the purple one. I don't know the difference between the colors, but I got I bought this one because it said it was for sensitive skin and I feel like it is amazing. It really helps my skin feel ultra clean without feeling dry or ugh. I tried a few eye creams this year that I really like, but no matter what, I always go back to my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. This is my favorite eye cream. I recommend it to every single person who asks me, hey, what's a good eye cream to take away my dark circles? And I'm like, this one. I saw a difference in my under eyes only like a week only like a week after using this. I see results with this, which is why I really, really love it. It helps with my darkness, it helps with my dryness. I just love this eye cream. Okay, so now I wanna talk about products I don't use all the time, but whenever I need them, they come through for me and they really, really work. This is like miracle liquid. I don't know what's in this, but this is amazing. This is The Essence and it's from Tatcha and it's a plumping skin softener with anti-aging complex. At first when I got this, I was like, what? is this but it's a concentration with nutrients that soften the skin and keep it very hydrated and I love it I don't use it every single day but I use it like three times a week and I only use very little I've only used like this much and I've been using this I feel like all year I use this right before bed before I go in with my moisturizer or any other skincare I'll just take a little bit of this onto my fingers and really press it into the skin Then I'll go in with moisturizer and stuff and this helps with my dryness. This helps with my fine lines I notice my skin just does it looks more plump in the morning. It's witchcraft. This is amazing It's so expensive. Oh, that's expensive, but 100% worth it in my opinion I used to exfoliate a lot in high school or like back in the day It was like I was exfoliating like every single day, but I don't really exfoliate that much anymore I would say I do it maybe like once or twice a week and the exfoliator I have been using since I got it in either a, a, a boxy charm. I think I got this in a boxy charm This is the dr. Brandt microdermabrasion aged defying exfoliator for some reason I've just really been into anti-aging things these days because I turned 26 this month so I really enjoy this I feel like it is a little bit rough but if you use a gentle hand it takes off all the dead skin and your face just feels amazing after you use this I highly recommend it I know that dr. Brandt has a blue one but that's more of like a poor exfoliator I don't feel like that one works on me as much as the black one does and I just this is the one that I've used the most in the year.
I want to talk about two oils that I really, really love. The first one is marula oil, period. Not drunk elephant marula oil, just marula oil. I feel like it really has made a difference in my skin. I used to use a different brand of marula oil, but ever since I got the drunk elephant virgin marula luxury facial oil, I, I just prefer this one. I don't know what it is about the drunk elephant one that I love so much. I don't know what it is about marula oil, but it's full of antioxidants and I feel like it hydrates my skin while making it look really nice at the same time. Out of all the popular oils like jojoba oil, argan oil, there's so many oils out there. I feel like marula suits my skin type the best. When my skin is the absolute driest where it's like Ugh, it feels really tight and dry. I always put this on before I go to sleep and when I wake up, my face feels like a million bucks. And I wanted to give a shout out to this guy because when I was having my skin issues, this really did help me and I've continued to use it ever since, but I use it on and off. I don't use it that often. But this is the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. It doesn't look like I've even used that much, but this was completely full and to me that's a lot because I literally only use like two drops of this all over my entire face. This is to prevent acne and to prevent blackheads. It's kind of like a salicylic acid treatment. Yeah, it's a salicylic acid medicated dry oil that clears congested pores and it really helps detoxify the skin. And I feel like this really does that. I don't really use mud masks anymore, except I'm gonna put a picture here. The Aztec Indian Healing Clay Mask. I had a whole tub and I have no idea where I put it. I don't know how I misplaced a whole tub of this. But this is the only mud mask I will use and it is the most intense mud mask I've ever used. I'm totally switching gears here, but I love that mud mask. It takes out everything of my skin and it's drying, but all I have to do is put this on before bed and when I wake up the next day, it's like, new skin. But besides that, I really like using this when my skin is extra congested. I'll use it at night and when I wake up, I totally see a difference in my skin. Speaking of congested crap on your face, whenever I have really large, like painful breakouts, usually around that time of the month, I will always pop this little guy on. I have loved this for years. If you remember me talking about this on my channel, you have been around here for a long time. This is the Origins Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel, also with salicylic acid. Personally, for me, salicylic acid really helps my skin. And all I will do, you need barely any product. You just squeeze a little bit of this onto your finger, pop it onto your pimple, and when you wake up the next day, your pimple looks a lot smaller. It ha it like completely dries it out. It like sucks the life out of the pimple. So when you wake up the next day, you're like, oh my gosh, it's almost gone. It's amazing. I love that little guy. Okay, I have two face masks to talk about. I had three. I already spoke about the Aztec one. Out of all the face masks I used this year, these were the ones that I felt like really made a difference and I saw myself go back to time and time again. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. This has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. This is very similar to the UFO oil, kind of, in the sense that it really does unclog your skin, like congested caca skin. This really does help with it, but this is like a mask that you put on and then you take off like 20 minutes later. When I first used this, I was like, mm, I'm gonna have to use this a few more times to see if I see a difference. But I did after a few uses, I totally saw like how plump and clean my skin looked after using this. It helps with fine lines, it helps with your pores. It's just a great, great facial. You see a difference when you use it over time. I love it. This guy, I have to give a little quick shout out to because I've never mentioned this, but there are times, I, I don't use this a lot. I really don't. But there have been times where my skin just looks so irritated and so inflamed. Like for example, if I do a lot of makeup tutorials or if I'm ju I've just been wearing a lot of makeup that week, my skin gets very irritated very fast. I have very sensitive skin and this really came in handy a few times. This is the Ren Ever Calm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. You just apply a generous amount of this all over your face and you leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then you rinse it off and it instantly just calms the skin. This helps reduce redness. It helps just calm and relieve the skin. So I really like this mask. Oh, I also wanted to mention my little e.l.f face mask applicator. I always use this to apply my face mask. It has like a silicone applicator and it's so easy to clean. So I thought I would mention this because it really is a skincare favorite of 2017. I use it all the time. Oh my God, I feel like this could have been a skincare video all on its own. Holy crap. Okay, two more skincare products to talk about. These are lip products. The first one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's like my go-to lip mask 
right before bed. I don't use anything else. And when I wake up in the morning, my lips are so plump and hydrated. And I know it's pricey for a lip mask, but Laneige has really great ingredients. Their products are really great. And this is the best lip mask I have ever used personally. I love it, I love it, and I think it's worth it. And I will repurchase it when I go through it. And then I wanted to give a quick shout out to my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. It's the one that comes like this. They have the Agave Lip Mask that's in the tube. I like this even more than that one. This is like my go-to lip balm to put underneath any liquid lipstick. There's like a stick to this. I don't know how to explain it, but when you apply it to your lips, it feels like it's sticky and it's staying there and it's really nourishing the lips and it stays on your lips all day. You have like that constant hydration. It doesn't go away and it's the perfect base for any lip product. It's not greasy or slippy. It's freaking amazing. Okay, so now let's go on to my favorite hair care products. I need to breeze through this because I actually have to leave in 30 minutes. And I know that seems like a long time, but we'll see. Okay, shampoo. I want to mention two shampoos. First one is not here. I will put a picture up. This is hands down my most used shampoo in 2017. The Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Shampoo is amazing. I've gone through, I think, two bottles already. It does a great job of really, really, really cleaning my hair without stripping it. I feel like I really see a difference whenever I use that shampoo. I have been using recently, ever since I ran out of that one and I haven't repurchased it, I've been using the Purology Hydrate Shampoo, which that one I'm really loving as well, so. We'll see what my favorite is next year. But the other shampoo I wanted to talk about is from We Dad. Is that how you say that brand? I hope so. This is the ultra nourishing cleansing oil that's really great for curly hair. If you are someone who keeps your hair curly all the time and you feel like a lot of shampoos kind of strip your curls, they mess with them. This is an amazing shampoo because it's very, very nourishing on your scalp really nourishing for your curls, but it doesn't feel greasy or heavy. You're not like, oh, my my hair is not clean. No, you still feel like your hair is clean, but it's awesome for hydration. And I always use this shampoo when I want to leave my hair naturally curly. I always use this shampoo. I'm like completely done, by the way. I need another one. You guys know I do not use conditioner. I mean, I don't know if you know that. I think I've mentioned that a few times, but I never use conditioner on my hair anymore. I don't like to wash my hair every day. I wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. I know that seems, that seems gross, but it just, I have very dry hair. And since it's chemically treated, I don't like to wash it as often. So whenever I do wash my hair, I never use a conditioner. I just use a hair mask. So my favorite, favorite, favorite hair mask is no surprise to you. I'm not gonna talk about it too long. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I love it because it's free of silicones sulfates, parabens. It's a very natural product, but it hydrates the crap out of your hair. Your hair feels extremely silky and smooth and it doesn't have any silicone, so it has like no filler. I love it. It penetrates the hair and really gives it so much nourishment. It's incredible. And I feel the exact same way about the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment for dry or damaged hair. I feel like this helps my hair. I don't, you know what? I don't know which one I like more. I wanna say this one. I just use this one more often, but I love them both equally. I love this hair mask. It does wonders for my dry hair, like wonders. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to mention this in my shampoo category. The Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo is my favorite like ex exfoliating shampoo. I use a lot of product in my hair, mainly dry shampoo. I put a lot of dry shampoo on this head and sometimes it leaves me with dandruff, it creates buildup and regular shampoo just doesn't cut it. I need something that's really gonna exfoliate and get into my scalp and just take everything out. And I love this Briogeo one because it has coconut oil in it so it doesn't strip my hair. My scalp doesn't feel super tight and gross. Like so many other exfoliating shampoos or like cleansing shampoos have done to me. Like I always used to hate them. This one is a godsend. This is a miracle in a tub. I love this to really remove all the gunk and all the grossness out of my hair. My favorite leave-in conditioner is this one. This is also no surprise to you. I feel like this is a second year winner for me. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Briogeo doesn't have any crappy chemicals in it, no harsh ingredients. This is free of sulfate, silicones, parabens, and this just makes my hair feel so smooth. And every time I get out of the shower after I wash my hair, like no matter what, my hair just feels a little bit drier. And whenever I put this in my hair, 
it like transformed. I just love it. <laughs> it's so great. Oh my gosh, this has been my favorite hair discovery in a very, very long time. I've spoken about this on my channel months ago and I feel like I haven't even used that much. I'm down to here, but I use this every single time I wash my hair. Granted, I don't wash my hair every day, but I use very little of this. I put just like a pea-sized amount onto the palm of my hand and I just really work this from like my ears down. Oh, did I tell you what this is? <laughs> this is from the brand Marula and it is the Intensive Hair Treatment and Styling Oil. It's silicone free, color safe, it tames frizz and repairs strands for coarse, curly, or thick hair. I have very fine hair and I feel like this works for me. And this makes my hair look so silky and it makes it feel so silky smooth. Hands down the best hair oil I have ever used in my entire life. I know that seems very dramatic, but like I feel like I really found my ultimate hair oil. This is such a winner for me. It adds so much shine. It's, mm, mm, mm. I love it. I cannot recommend this enough. Okay, so as you guys know, most of the time I keep my hair pretty straight, but whenever I leave my hair naturally curly, these are the products I use. I mainly use the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. If I'm gonna use a gel, I'll usually use a gel or a mousse, sometimes both. This is my favorite gel, no harsh ingredients. It just leaves my hair looking nice and shiny and bouncy, like it really does a great job of keeping my curls bouncy and soft without being sticky or greasy. You know how many gels leave your hair feeling so sticky and gross? I love this gel, it's amazing. Perfect for my curly hair, really keeps the curls in place. Whenever I use a mousse, this is my go-to mousse. You can get this at the drugstore, it's so affordable. This is the L'Oreal Air Dry It Roughed Body Mousse. This is the stronghold for waves and curls. It's also frizz resistant, I totally agree with that. I really love how this makes my curls look. They look nice and bouncy and it doesn't give me a crunch. Even though it is a stronghold, it's a great mousse. But the best thing about this mousse is the scent. Oh, I want a perfume in this freaking scent, it's so good. I will repurchase it time and time again for the scent alone. I'm so glad I like the formula as well because it, I get the best of both worlds. I freaking love this mousse. No matter what you're doing to your hair, even if you're just blow drying it, I highly recommend using a heat protectant. It's really gonna pay off in the long run. My favorite heat protectant in 2017 was the Living Proof Restore Instant Protection Weightless Heat and UV Protection. So it also protects you from the sun. <laughs> I love this. I feel like I started using this more towards the end of the year, but I love how easy it is. You just spray it. I feel like it makes my hair shiny while really protecting it from the heat. I used to use the ones that you had to like spray, rub it in your hand and put it in, but this is just so much easier to use and I feel like it is very effective as well. So I'm lazy and I like to go the easy route. So a spray on heat protectant is the way to go. And I like the spray on this. It's, not, it's like a continuous spray. It's, it's just so easy and so good. I also really like the scent. It smells better good. Do I have to talk about this? Do I have to? This is definitely a second year winner. I, don't, I didn't do this video last year, but if I did, this one would have totally made the cut. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. They have a few different ones. The black one is the only one I like because it's the only scent I like. I'm not really into any of the other Nirvana scents. This is a very pricey dry shampoo, but honestly, it's the best in my opinion. I have tried so, so many, and there are a ton I like. For example, if you want a really affordable one from the drugstore, the, the Batiste dry shampoo is really, really good, but this one just works the best for my hair. I don't use dry shampoo to give myself volume. I use it strictly to take away the oils, the dirtiness of my head, and this just takes away all my oil. It looks like I just freshly washed my hair while making it smell good. It is my favorite, hands down, the best dry shampoo I have ever, ever used. Speaking of your hair smelling good, I really wanted to mention this because I use this all the time, ever since I discovered it in 2017. This is the Toca Hair Fragrance, but this one is Juleta. I used to use the Stella one all the time, and I really like that one, but when I discovered this one, this is the best one out of all of them. It really stays in your hair, and it makes your hair smell really nice, but it doesn't it doesn't like clash with your other perfumes. This is a very fresh, everyday clean scent. It smells almost like your hair is supposed to smell like this naturally. So fresh and clean and I feel like even if I'm wearing a super intense perfume, it doesn't clash with it. Yet when I go like this, I can smell it in my hair and my hair just smells so good. If you're someone who doesn't wash your hair every day but you want your hair to smell great, pick up Toca Juleta because it is so awesome and you don't really need that much, just a spray or two and it's just, it's so good. 
Okay, we are almost done. I have two more products to share with you and they're more tool products. I really want to give a huge shout out to my wet brush. This is the best brush I've ever used, the best brush I've ever discovered. And my appreciation for this brush has grown in the past week because I just recently purchased that ridiculous Mason Pearson brush I, that everybody talks about. I cannot believe I spent that much on a hairbrush. Everybody was saying it was the best hairbrush ever and I don't even like it. It makes my hair really frizzy, I don't know. But the wet brush is literally <laughs> pennies compared to that brush and it is better, in my opinion. I know everybody raves about that brush, but this is so affordable and it gets the job done. I could use it in the shower, when my hair is wet, or when my hair is dry, and it detangles my hair without pulling my hair. The wet brush is the best brush, especially if you detangle your hair in the shower, like I do. It's so <sighs> best brush ever. And then I wanted to give an honorable mention to this. This is the GHD Curve Creative Curl Wand. I just recently purchased this. This is kind of cheating. I've only had it for like a couple months. But I freaking love this curl wand. I love the shape of it. As you can see, it's not just like a, a round barrel. It almost has like this paddle shape. And I love how that makes my curls look. I have it in my hair, but I only did it like barely anything just to give myself a little bit of something and I love it I feel like it does hold a curl and I just love how it makes the curls look it doesn't look like Shirley Temple curls they look like beach waves this is my favorite like wand I've ever ever purchased it's very very pricey GHD is a very pricey brand but this is something I think is totally worth it for example I just recently purchased the GHD platinum professional like flat iron that's like 250 bucks and I don't even like it I'm so sad I know it has five stars and it was highly recommended to me but I have very frizzy hair and I don't think that that flat iron makes my hair as straight as my chi makes it to me my chi is like it's my ride or die but I lost my chi and they don't make them like they used to anymore. I had that chief for so many years and I lost it. How do you lose a flat iron in a house? I don't know, but I did. And now I'm on the hunt for the next best thing. And honestly, the GHD just didn't do it for me. And the baby list burns the shiz out of my hair. I will not use that one. Oh my gosh, I'm going off on a tangent. But this GHD curling wand is so worth the money. If you want those beautiful beachy waves, ugh. You need this. It's so good. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. We're finally to the end. Oh my gosh. These were my favorite skincare and hair care products. Tried and true. I love these, even though I don't use them every single day. They're still my homies and they're still my favorites. Leave me a comment down below what your standout skincare product was in 2017 and also your standout hair care product. I'd love to know your must-haves in these categories. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.